Hello everyone and welcome to this week's flipped learning lesson in maths. This week in maths we are looking at representing the value of the numbers 1 to 10 using the 10 frame and Numericon. We are also looking at counting sets of objects using a 10 frame. Now, what exactly is a 10 frame? As you can see in the picture here, a 10 frame is a frame broken into 10 equally sized boxes. In maths, we use a 10 frame as a simple tool that helps the children to keep track of their counting, see number bonds and relationships, learn addition to 10, and understand place value. This week in maths, the children have been using their 10 frames to keep track of their counting and also to begin to see the number bonds and relationships between different numbers. Now, have a look at the picture below. Can you see the strawberries? Can you tell me how many strawberries you can see? Pause this video for a moment and see if you can count them. Now, let's count them together. We see one, two, three, four. There are four strawberries in the picture. Now, can you represent the amount of strawberries you see on the 10 frame? We know there are four strawberries, so we are going to use four cubes to show this on the 10 frame. There are many different ways that you can put the cubes on the 10 frame. For example, you might put them this way, or you could arrange them this way, or have a look at how we put it in this time. Look at how we put them in two cubes and two cubes. This helps us to see the bond between numbers and helps us to continue on towards addition. As you see here, two cubes and two cubes gives us four. So two plus two equals four. Also, we can put them in a line as this makes it easier for us to count them. One, two, three, four. Showing us that we have four cubes and we can easily touch each cube as we count them. Now, have a look at the oranges. How many oranges can you see? Pause this video and count them. Let's count them together. We have one, two, three. That's right, there are three oranges. Now, can you show me how many oranges there are on the 10 frame. One, two, three. So we have our three oranges on the 10 frame. We can also arrange the cubes in a different way to show the three oranges. For example, we could put it in one, two, three. Here we can see the number bond between numbers showing us that 2 plus 1 equals 3. Now, another tool we even use in maths this week are Numericon. The pieces of Numericon have large holes in them, making it easy for the children to use their fingers while counting to see the value of each piece of Numericon. For example, if we go back and consider our oranges, there are three oranges in the picture. So, which piece of Numericon could we use to show the value of our oranges? Have a look and see. Yes, that's right. The yellow piece of Numericon we see here in the picture has three finger spaces in it, showing us that it is the number three. For example, if we look at our 10 frame, and we have our three cubes in it, we could also use our Numericon to represent the value. Here we see the Numericon showing us that there are three cubes and that there are three ores. 
we can also use different pieces of Numericon to make up the number 3. For example, we could use 2 and 1. Again, we are seeing the bond between numbers here, showing us that 2 plus 1 equals 3. If we put our cubes in a line on the 10 frame, we can still use our Numericon to show the value. Here we see 2 and 1. And again we see that 2 plus 1 equals 3. Or we could use 1 and 1 and 1, showing us that 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3. You can easily make your very own 10 frame in your house. All you need is a piece of paper, a pencil and a ruler. You start off by making a rectangle like the one you see on the screen. Now we're going to divide our rectangle in half and break it into our 10 squares, just like this. Pause the video now and make your own 10 frame. Now we're going to finish our video by letting you have a chance to try out what you've learned using your own 10 frame. Have a look at the bananas in the picture and count how many you can see. When you are ready, can you show the amount of bananas you see on the 10 frame? If you don't have cubes in your house, you can easily just draw in a circle in each box to show how many bananas they are. Well done and thank you so much for listening today.